ओके इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द क्रिएट टेबल्स आई हैव ऑलरेडी पुट अ वीडियो मॉड्यूल ऑन द आई हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएट अ वीडियो मॉड्यूल फॉर क्रिएटिंग अ टेबल बाय यूजिंग द स्किल्स फॉर मैनेजमेंट स्टूडियो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द क्रिएटिंग द टेबल बाय यूजिंग द एसक्यूएल ओके नाउ आई ऑलरेडी हैव अ डेटाबेस नो द सैंपल एंड आई विल जस्ट एक्चुअली शो यू हाउ टू क्रिएट अ मोर टेबल्स इन दैट डेटाबेस If you want to know how to create a database, you can actually go and look into the video that say shows you how to create a database that I have already actually created. Okay, now this is a very simple transact SQL. How to use a sim using a transact SQL? This is not a very complex thing to create table, but it requires a knowledge of relational database. Okay, let's say use sample execute. Okay, we had create we have created a we are going we are already using a database that is simple. Okay, now let's go and create an schema. Okay, schema is where the table will reside. Okay, you can every every user can every database has a schema. Okay, different schemas. Okay, let's see why the why this problem is. Okay, there is already a schema with the same name. We will drop it. And recreate it. Okay. Let's drop that schema. Okay, that schema, that schema has been dropped. Let's create another schema. Execute. Okay, the schema has been created. Okay, now let's go to the table, creating table. Okay. Okay. Now, I have created a syntax here. Create a table table here. The table syntax is. Okay, create table. My tables that my tables is a schema name. Okay, under with that table customer is created. The customer ID that is the column name. Int is the data type. And then there is a whether it is a null or not null. Okay, and then there is a customer name that is the bar car forty. That is again a data type and not null. And this way I keep on adding the field. Okay, till the end. the name select giving the data type select giving the column name and the data type and its length if it has to be given there are certain data types that do not need to be specified in the length such as int and small money mostly numeric type then there is a bit also you cannot actually use the length it is by default the whatever the size like date time and date all these things have actually the fixed length you cannot give it you give your own length okay now let's go and execute this command okay let's go and say create table and give a execute command okay the table has been created now do the table has been created i can either use the refresh command from here to check the tables or there is the other way i will show it to you later let's let's use a refresh here first this time we have this table already okay now suppose if i wanted to add a few fields few sorry few column names extra with a few columns extra that were been left over okay so i can use a alter table okay command which alter the table okay alter table my tables add the schema name that the customer and add the column name the data type and the length of the data type whether it is null or not null has not been specified whatever the default is it would be taken if the default is not null the not null would be taken if the default is null then the null would be taken remember that db options that are database options that have been actually spoken to about previously okay now let's go and execute this command this sql here we go here we are Here we are. We have actually added the two columns to the table. Okay. Now, if I want to go and see the table, okay, here is the command to do so. There no need to go to the SQL Server Management Studio every time. Okay, it will give me the all the details of the table customer. There it is. Okay. It is telling me the customer DBO is the owner user table. Okay, created date and time, and then there are the fields, and then in the end there would be two fields that I have actually two columns also that would I have added to the table. 
okay that is the custom cast email and it gives me all the details where care and all that things that the types of whatever i created and whether this is a null null or not null and then there is a length okay computed not computed computed will come to the later this primary is no primary key on this table so this is left over this is no there is no identity column defined here so far now this sp help is a system procedure you can specify the schema name with the table name and it will give you all the details of the table now let's use one more uh, okay alter uh, sql to modify the table now that the table has been modified let's go and execute the sql check to check it check the table there we are again if i want i can go and check it here in the column name in the table name where the fields have been added our phone has been added here first phone similar way i would actually add all these other columns also using the order table they have been all been added okay and some columns have been modified some has been added depending okay this for the order column column you can actually change the length of the column you can also change you can also add um, other columns other other columns after the once you have ordered this thing okay now ordering it to the for not null okay from null to no, not null then there is a alter okay this one is different okay there this is actually adding a computed column okay here i say alter table my tables my table schema name okay and the customer add total sales as sales quantity multiplied by sales price what it will do it will add a computed column but the data for that computed column won't be stored in the database it will be always be computed on the run time now let's see the sql if you see i haven't added one column that was to add, that is going to be computed okay i have already added this thing and let's see i will going to run this this sql okay i have to run the sql and i have selected from the my table dot customer okay now the table has been created the i have added the road okay now i did not add the lost field okay i will show it to you uh hold on okay this total sales has been automatically added to this thing calculated this was a computed field that we have added okay i did not enter any data for the computed field it was automatically generated from the two fields depending upon what computed columns you had actually specified there now let's create another table that is a, that depends upon lot upon the computed columns okay here here it is here it says create table salary details m id int enter the integer not null basic salary money not null till here it's okay now comes the difference the medical allowance as basic salary multiplied by 20 upon 100 as 20% okay persisted when you specify persisted then that data is going to be stored in the database if you do not specify in the computed column the word persisted then the data would not be stored in the table now this information is going to be stored in the table and is not being going to be computed every time as simple as that thing the last field that says total overtime salary as overtime rate multiplied by overtime hour this column is not going to have the information stored in the table as simple as that now you can see there are nine columns in the salary details table and i am going to insert a row only specifying the few of them okay 1 2 3 4 okay there are four columns rest all will be get computed okay here is the command that i am going to execute the rest is going to get com com computed automatically let's first create this execute this sql we have forgotten to execute execute this sql let's execute this let the table get created now let's execute this sql also
Now after I executed that SQL, okay, only for the four field, you can see that all the data, all the fields have been filled up automatically. The rest are all computed from the nine field, the five fields were computed. So they have all actually got the data got to have inserted. As simple as that. Now, even if I sub select that only computed field that is not persisted, that, that is not actually in the table. Okay, that is not stored in the table. Still, it will give me the correct information. It will give me the calculation. It, I don't have to select the other fields to show me the result. Now, there is a new column right in the new data type that has been introduced. Okay, into the SQL Server 2000 that says actually is a sparse sparse null what happens is there are many null fields null columns okay in the table and there are a lot of null data that is available in some of the database in some of the tables okay now this when you use a sparse it will actually use a zero byte so it saves a lot of space remember that thing only that is the only difference Okay, in the first column we have specified the primary key. Remember how to give define a primary key. I'll come to it again. Let's add some data. Execute the SQL. Okay. Okay, let's start from the book create table books and insert the SQL because the table was not created. That was why it was giving us the error. Okay, let's execute all the statement one by one. Okay, inserting the table data after creating the table. Okay, there we are. Okay, after I actually give a select, I can see that there are two nulls added. Okay, this would be stored as a zero byte. Remember that thing. Because I have used a sparse word. Okay. This feature is available only in SQL Server 2008 onwards. Okay, let's go and select with the null. there is a result it is giving okay now suppose if i wanted to drop the column details from the table books here is a syntax or to drop the column from the table books that is the column name is details execute it okay the column has been dropped now i am going to use this sql to show you that it will say it is an invalid column because there is no word detail in it because I have, I have given a select with the where clause see it says invalid column data in the where clause that's how because the column has been dropped now suppose if I wanted to drop a table remember this is a very dangerous command in the production environment but anyhow I will show it to you how to drop a table just execute the command drop table table name and it has been dropped now this is one way how you can create a primary key remember the primary key and the foreign key are all constraints Remember that is the relationship database terminology for the primary key is known as a primary key constraint and a foreign key is known as a foreign key constraint. Here is another way to create a primary key. It says create table, whatever that number is. In the end, you add the line, okay, constraint, constraint name, okay, and a primary key and define the primary key field. Okay, this is roll number and grade has both has been used. There are two two actually field name. Okay, this is known as composite key. Okay, because it has more than one key, so it is known as composite key. To see the table, you can use the SP table student name and it will give you the detail. Here it is. Okay. And it gives you all the details, it gives you all the everything. Okay. Now there is a primary key clustered, it has of added because remember always the, there can be only one clustered key index on the this thing and this is becomes a primary key index primary key field this is how to check the index here it is there we are done i will continue in the part 2